This train is bound for glory. This train, this train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. train is bound for glory. It's so nice to see you. Welcome back to Vacation Bible School Online. My name's Amy, I'm your conductor, and we're at the Royal Redeemer Station on the Rocky Railway. I'm excited to get our adventure started today. We are going to meet so many wonderful new friends and do a ton of fun things. Are you ready? Well, before we get started, we need to pray. So let's put our hands together and say a prayer right now. Dear God, please bless our adventures today. Bless our travel on the train and bless our time together in learning how your power helps pull us through. We love you, God, and we praise you with everything that we have in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get on the train. All aboard. Hey, we're the first ones on the train again. Let's take our seats so we can get started. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. 
That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Wow, Sierra is amazing. Next stop, Miss Carrie's house. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Carrie. Welcome to Imagination Station this week. I am super, super disappointed that we could not be together in person because that's one of my favorite parts of Vacation Bible School is seeing you face to face and doing our really fun and interesting science experiments. I hope you have enjoyed the couple of experiments that I've sent you through your parents' email. I have a couple of questions. Did any of you try the egg experiment? Were your eggs able to hold a lot? How about the ping pong experiment? Were any of you able to keep your ping pong in the air for longer than 10 seconds? I know I wasn't able to hold mine up longer than 10 seconds. It was a really long time. I've loved seeing the pictures that some of you have shared. Today, we are talking about how Jesus's power makes us bold. When I think of the word bold, I think of brave and courageous, like a superhero, or like our animal friend, Sierra, the mountain lion. She can leap really high and is very brave in the wild. Speaking of Sierra, what do you think is stronger on a mountain lion? Their sense of smell or their sense of hearing? Do you have your guess? Think about it. Are you ready for the answer? Give me a drum roll. A mountain lion actually has a very weak sense of smell and a very strong and bold sense of hearing. It relies on its hearing to find its prey and stay safe from danger in the wild. To be bold, you have to be brave. When it comes to sharing our faith with others, I know it's sometimes very hard to be bold. You might feel shy when you talk to others about God's love or feeling nervous if you're not familiar saying prayers. Just ask God to help you be bold when sharing God's message with others. Take it one step at a time. Start with a hello, then move on from there. In your prayers, start with, dear God, thank you for this day and go from there. Today's experiment will show us when we trust in Jesus' power, we can spread the word boldly to others. For today's experiment, you will need these supplies. You need seven clear or plastic, clear plastic or glass cups about this size. You need six pieces of paper towel. Now, it's best to use the select a sheet paper towels so that they're more narrow. Otherwise, you can take a large square sheet and cut it in half, just like this. You will also need red, yellow, and blue food coloring. And finally, you will need a pitcher of water. Take a minute and pause the video so that you can get all your supplies ready. First, line up your empty cups in front of you. You should have seven cups all in a row. Now, you're gonna need an adult to help you with the next part because you'll need some scissors. I want you to fold your paper towel long ways like taco or hot dog like you do in school. 
Next, you're gonna fold it in half to make a tent and you're gonna put it inside the cups. You don't want it to be too far above the top, so you may need to trim off about an inch to two inches off the bottom so that your paper towel looks like this on your cups. Got it? You will need six of those. Next, when you have all of your cups in a row, you will need to listen very carefully at the next directions. Cups number one, three, five, and seven. Those are the odd ones. Get water. You're gonna fill them about three quarters of the way full. Just like this. Which cups is it again? That's right, cup number one, number three, number five, and number seven. Get water filled about three quarters of the way full. Cups two, four, and six will stay empty. Now you're ready for the food coloring. Listen carefully, cup number one and number seven will receive seven drops, seven drops of red food coloring. Number one and number seven, so that you have a bold red that looks like this. Cup number three will receive yellow food coloring, about seven or eight drops as well, to look bold and yellow, just like this. Lastly, Cup number five will receive seven to eight drops of blue food coloring so that it looks nice and bold like this. Pause the video until you're ready. Now you are ready to place your paper towels in the cups. Put one end of your paper towel in a cup that has water and the other end in the empty cup next to it. It will look like this. You'll get to see a demo coming up really soon of my experiment so that you can watch it and then try your own. The last step is the most important. It's just to watch. See what happens when the paper towel begins to absorb the water. What do you notice? Do you see any scientific magic? Talk with your families about what you observe. These bold colors will be creating something beautiful, just like our friend Sierra, who has a bold sense of hearing to help her in the wild. We have to be bold when it comes to spreading God's love to the people around us. Thank you for joining me today in Imagination Station. I can't wait to see pictures of your bold experiment. Take a look at mine. We'll see you next week and try out my other two experiments I'll be sending your way. Don't forget, Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Bye-bye. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Do you see Lauren's house? I know I do. Look over there. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is peaches. My brother's is green lantern. My sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in Community Kitchen, I tried it in California, and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom, and she found a place, and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day.
It feels nice and it feels like God want me to do this because it's important that people who don't have very much things that we need to care for them. Mm -hmm. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table. Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food of America. It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they're always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Welcome. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes, they need stuff and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus!
trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Did you have a good time? I know I did. I am even so excited because we got an extra song today. That was really fun to see all the kids singing and dancing. Do you know, I was thinking, do you remember who our Bible friend was from week one? Do you remember who our Bible friend from week two was? And this week we met Sierra. Sierra taught us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. It's hard to remember all of the things that Jesus is teaching us from week to week. I'm so glad we have wonderful friends to help us remember. We need to remember that Jesus' power always helps us pull through and we can trust Jesus. Friends, it's time to say our repeat after me prayer before we go. Are you ready? Let's put our hands together and let's say, Dear God, I thank you for this wonderful day and the chance I've had to learn about your power. And God, please help me to be bold when I'm faced with hard things or talking about you to my friends. I love you. I love you. I love you. Amen. Friends, I'll see you next week right here at Royal Redeemer Station on the Rocky Railway. Have a wonderful week and stay safe and healthy. Bye.